Hi everyone in Adoc and Wireless Sensor Network today we are going to discuss hidden terminal problem or hidden node problem how the collusion is happening uh, in the wireless sensor network or in the ad hoc network because of uh, this hidden terminal problem and hidden node problem so that we are going to discuss in this particular video so here the hidden terminal problem refers to the collusion of packet at a receiver node due to the simultaneous transmission of those nodes that are not within the direct transmission range of the sender but are the within the transmission range of the receiver so this this particular concept we are going to discuss today so the node a is available in the ad hoc network this is the corresponding coverage area of node a similar manner the node b is available in the ad hoc network so this is the corresponding coverage area of node b now a and b not within direct transmission range that's why the a unable to communicate directly to b and also b unable to communicate directly to a now the another one node introduced in between the a and b that is called c now you can see a and b both are able to communicate to c that is possible so in this particular situation a can generate a packet or data packet to transmit to c there is no problem and also b can generate a data packet and transmit to c okay in this particular scenario the problem will not happen so if a and b both are communicating together simultaneously in this particular situation a is not aware about b transmission and also b is not aware about a transmission both are simultaneously transmitted their own packets to c so that's why the collusion is happened at the receiver end okay so this problem is called hidden node problem or hidden terminal problem according to node a b is hidden and according to b a is hidden so this particular problem is eliminated by using your meka algorithm multiple access with collusion avoidance algorithm used to avoid this particular hidden node problem by performing the handshaking operation between the node before transmission of the packet so that is called the two process they are performing one is called request to send another one is clear to send so rts and cts packets are utilized to perform the handshaking operation between the node to avoid the hidden node problem okay i am considering the same network the a is available in the ad hoc network this is the coverage area and b is also available and this is the corresponding coverage area in between within the both the coverage area the c is available c is also another node so now a is a wants to communicate with c in this particular scenario a is generating rts packet and sent to c so if c is ideal then c accepting the request received from node a then the c will generate clear to send the corresponding acknowledgement the clear to send will be generated in c and transmitted to a so this particular conversation definitely heard by b also okay so that's why now we can see the copy of cts packet is also transmitted to b so the b will recognize a and c going to communicate the data packets or exchange the data packet during that entire period 
B will not transmit any packet to C. So in this particular situation, what will happen? You are performing the handshaking operation between E and C. Automatically, the collusion will be avoided. So this is called your MAC algorithm or multiple access with collusion avoidance algorithm. By using this protocol, we are able to eliminate the hidden node problem. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. We will meet again with some other video in Adoc network. So if you like, subscribe, share and comment. Thank you all.